today I need these to show you the product that I'm reviewing. You're, you're not gonna believe they make this stuff. Let's get going. Everybody. I'm Dr. Jed Lincoln, OBGYN, author, educator, and now I'm eating Twinkies in the name of educating. Here we are. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on the bell so you never miss more amazing content like this. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Dr. Jennifer Lincoln for more. Okay, today I am reviewing the Awkward Essential Drip Stick because this is my life now, is reviewing products. And uh, a lot of you have sent me this and said, Dr. Jen, what do you think of this? Here we go. <laughs> okay, so Dripstick is, you can see here, it's a sponge made by the company Awkward Essential. And it says it's like the world's first post-sex cleanup sponge. And the reason it's probably the first is because we've, we've actually done okay up until this point without one. Anywho. So here's, here's what they say it is. It's a super soft medical grade sponge that quickly soaks up gooey leftovers to eliminate drippy discomfort, not for your butt. <laughs> I do like that. You're just like, you guys, y'all, it's not for your butt. Cool. And the cost is about a dollar a sponge. So not super expensive. So here's the story. And you can look on the website. In fact, let me just, let's just show the video right here. In fact, let's watch it together, shall we? Okay, let's watch it. Okay, so that's why I have a Twinkie. It's gonna, this is supposed to be semen. I just did that. These are actually good. Okay, so, oh my God, they're oily. So the idea is after you have sex and your friend, your partner ejaculates inside of you rather than dealing with like the semen dripping out that you can use this sponge to like scoop it out. Let's break this down. So here are the downsides for me. The first one, if you are not new here, you know this, that I am not about shame-based marketing. So the company's name, Awkward Essentials. You might think that that's not a big deal, but you're attaching a feeling, a shame-based feeling to something that you also say is essential that relates to sex and vaginal health. And I've covered so many products, whether it's Lumi deodorant, Vagisil, Summer's Eve, Good Girl Probiotics by Love Wellness. Like there's no shortage of shame-based marketing and people do it because they know it works. So like, why do they have to call it awkward essentials? You might think, oh, it's just a joke. You don't have my job where you see what happens when people come into the office, come into the hospital, so ashamed and embarrassed of their vulvas and their vaginas because they've grown up in a society that makes them think that they smell and they're awkward and they're dirty. So yeah, and I love it for you if it doesn't affect you. Like I love that for you but that's not what most of my patients, that's not their lived experience, so it's true. Okay, the other thing, the, the second downside for me is like the fact that this sponge is a sponge, it's made out of polyurethane foam and a polypropylene handle. This takes about 20 to 30 years to decompose, so this is more garbage in the landfill. Now it's true, we do use these, when they say medical grade sponge, we do use them in the operating room, not this product, but similar components if we need to do something called like a vaginal preparation, if we need to clean before surgery, things like that. I hate the amount of waste that we use in operating rooms and hospitals too. That's a tad bit more essential though than this awkward essential. And like, why couldn't they make it out of something that degrades more quickly? Like, why couldn't they even just make the handle not made out of plastic? And I'm sure that they're gonna say that they're working on that and that right now we don't have that technology and blah, 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 like it's true. But as of today, this is more garbage that goes into the landfills. And I don't know if you've noticed, but our earth is struggling. So we don't need another product that really you don't need to just add more junk into the garbage pile. The third thing that I don't love about this company is they are obsessed, like obsessed with you peeing after sex. It's like all over their website. They're like, always pee, always pee. Like pee right now while you're watching this video on this website. Like here's the thing. They're adding another thing that they want you to feel like you have to do. The data actually doesn't support peeing after sex. Am I blowing your mind? It's quite possible. And you might've even had an OBGYN tell you that you need to. The data shows that peeing after sex can be useful if you are prone to urinary tract infections, especially if you are prone to them after sex. So if you fall in that category, like by all means, go, go tinkle after you have fun. 
but you don't need to otherwise. And you also might say, Jen, this is not that big a deal. They're just telling people to pee. There's so many just do this just in case that we as women and people with vaginas are made to feel that we have to do. And I just hate it because if you just wanna have some good sex and hang out afterwards and not feel like you have to jump up and pee and break the mood, then I want you to know that that's okay. Not feel guilt because you're not peeing. Because a company that has the name awkward and it is telling you that you're supposed to, otherwise it's awkward and you're gonna get an infection and like, ugh. Um, so I hate that. So like, guys, come on, stop the obsession. Okay, the fourth thing that I don't love is that I worry that people think this is a form of birth control. Now it's true. Awkward Essentials does a great job of saying it all over the website. They're like, this is not for birth control. Like, I'm very pleased that they do that. However, I still think that people in the moment are like, well, oops, we had sex. We didn't use a condom. Well, I used that thing. That's good enough. And it's not. They should like get Plan B or Ella or Copper IUDs, a form of emergency contraception, which I have more information up here. But I do worry that that gets into the subliminal messaging. Again, that's not the company's fault. That's just a worry I have of real experience as an OBGYN. So in conclusion, Twinkies are actually um, kind of tasty. You don't need a sponge to clean up the after sex ooey gooey or whatever it is that they call it. The biggest thing that I don't like about this company is really just the marketing, making people feel like, ugh. And if you don't like that post-sex drip, which is not abnormal, you can use a washcloth and you don't have to put it internally. And if you wanna try to get more out, you can just bear down and some more will come out or you can just use toilet paper. Like we already have things and toilet paper degrades a lot more quickly than this, than this sponge. So at the end of the day, I don't love this product, whatever. If you wanna use it, go for it. But just understand that you don't need to. You don't need to pee after sex all the time unless you're in those categories. And let's just, let's leave the poor Twinkie alone. Twinkies are for eating, not sticking sponges into. Okay, that's all I got. Drop your comments and questions below. Let me know what you think about the sponge. Let me know what you think about Twinkies. And uh, enjoy having sex and not peeing afterwards, okay? Bye-bye.